Hello everybody! My name is Mikhail Kocheski. I'm here again to present to you, not my dog, the new camera. I have it today, the Kendall, the Qcam that comes with the, this little box. And in the little box we have a nice bag and the Kendall camera. That also we have a monopod with three-legged stand that it's actually very very high compared to others and we have this little camera 4k video 4k video and photo that is very unique it have three lenses because we use these two for 360 capturing and it's the first convertible camera we use this two we have this cap that is very protectable and it's convert to 180 degrees camera that's pretty impressive so it's the first convertible camera that won several prizes a few years ago and I will show you a few how to use it uh, and give you a little more details. We have here the camera that actually you can use the cap. You can use it as a, as a support tripod if you don't feel like using the to get out the the monopier you have fast shot with that so to turn it on you push there's a little sound to turn the wi-fi on you need to click two times so it's pretty simple you have here the 360 3D changeable that is changeable automatically when you turn it. It's turned automatically to 3D and to 360. So everything is controlled by the telephone or the tablet app. You have the QCAM that have lots of tutorials to show you all the possibility you have from little planets to overcapture. And here you can connect to the camera. You connect to the camera. You can see it's pretty easy. You have different different kind of view to show interactive trans sixty. Like little planet and flat mode. You have here the options. Photo that you have here to change the aperture uh, from auto to sport manual, the UV, the white balance, and you have the option to choose JPEG, PNG, or only JPEG. And also, you have pretty nice feature to know actually when the photo. Is shooting up, so you have two seconds, five seconds, and ten seconds to wait. Then you have the video option. That also here you have different kind of settings: 30 fps, frame per second, 60 fps, and on 4K and on 2K, 
100 frames per second and 120 frames per second. You have also the time lapse mode that you can also choose the time between the photos. You have 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 2 minutes and 5 minutes. Also the option of JPEG, JPEG DNG, white balance, UV and this option. We have also the RAW Plus DNG8 that I will show you later how to use it in post-production. It doesn't show the photos in the gallery, but it's um, capture HDR photo that you can actually use it later and um, adapt the photo as you like. The HDR high dynamic range photo. Here you have the album, video and photo. And you have the app album, that it's the photos that I upload. So I open for you the QCAM studio. You just need to add uh, your files that you uploaded to your PC or Mac from the SD card that it's on the camera. And then you can uh, see the option. It's pretty easy to use, very straightforward. You have here the option to choose the clip size in and out. You have here different option of cylindrical perspective fisheye. But of course, if you want to, to export to YouTube or Facebook, it's better to stay on a rectangular or a scale one by one. You have here also stabilization, color correction option, and our slow motion, actually, all the option of fast and slow motion. Here another example of 360 degrees that you can choose also the adjustments of the pan and panorama. Also you have these options, full stabilization option and anti-shake. It's pretty good stitch. So here you can see I can the stabilization, the full stabilization works. It's actually very very good. I was working slowly, but handheld. I will show you a few examples and uh, I will give you some links uh, so you can see by yourself how this camera is working. <laughs> 